Hey everyone. So I just want to preface this. This is a rant. I am just upset and annoyed at the awful standards of commentary channels and their content is part of the problem. The lackluster responses that people give, just the fact that they have nothing to add, nothing important to say, nothing new to put in about the subject. Those things make these situations worse because by only commenting on stuff when it's popular, that then creates an incentive for drama to get worse and worse until it goes viral which creates a system throughout YouTube where people do horrible, awful things before they get caught, which makes it so that people have horrible, awful things happen to them before they have any chance of being defended. In an ideal world, someone would just do something that's kind of bad, kind of fucked up, it'd be called out, and then the person can move on with their life, the victim can move on with their life. No one had to, you know, come near to like a heart attack or whatever out of stress for all the false accusations and all this other stuff. But sadly, in reality, what we have is that YouTubers have to do something so bad that it's pretty much illegal before everybody wants to comment on it because they get nothing out of talking about it before then. That's what bothers me. So when you watch these videos, I'm gonna put this intro and this one and the next one I'm gonna put up, that's where I'm coming from. That's how frustrated I am. This way, nobody can fucking come in my comment section and tell me that I'm saying something that I'm not trying to say because I explained it here first. Okay, that is my purpose. You guys are making content on YouTube worse by waiting for it to be this big drama issue instead of trying to talk about things before they get big. And it is causing people to suffer. You are part of the problem. The reason why this guy was falsely accused of being a well, is partially on all of you big commentary channels for not talking about this woman when she was creating controversy years ago. Years ago, stealing from people. I'll show the thumbnail here. If you hadn't fucking addressed her back then, this never would have happened, but none of you would have fucking got paid. All right? So I'm put this in the intro of both of my videos. Let's just get into whatever the fuck I was going to say. Hey everyone, so I have so much more to say about all that fitness stuff like between growth, Joe, a natural vegan. As you start to peel back the layers, you realize that there's so much more going on behind the scenes with a natural vegan than you would initially realize. I went down a whole rabbit hole and I want to talk about that, but I'm going to take a break from that because... I mean, it's just exhausting listening to her voice. And today I want to talk about something that I haven't seen anyone talking about on YouTube. So I'm just going to share my thoughts and then get out of here and go back to editing all this fitness crap. So my friend <laughs> sent me a message saying, your girl is getting dragged across YouTube because they know about how I had issues with Illuminati before I left. So they were just like, hey, there's that thing you were talking about and so I was like okay well I guess I'll look into it and I just start to immediately get frustrated like yes what she was doing was terrible she's an awful person I'm just not surprised because I already knew she was an awful person <laughs> but I'm more so frustrated at the response and that's never gonna go away I'm never gonna stop being tired of most people and how they deal with controversy it's just not gonna go away so there's this whole controversy with Illuminati and it's just crazy to me that people have so many issues with her now because of this big story that happened, but she's been fucking people over for years. And it's funny because before I left, I actually saw a video that was exposing the fact that she steals content from other people. And I sat there and wondered to myself, well, if she's stealing content from people, where are all the commentary channels commenting on it? Why isn't anybody saying anything? And so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to archive it because I wanted to look into more YouTubers stealing content since this is like a thing that YouTubers do in general. Not every YouTuber or anything, but since there's so many, I wanted to really like look into that stuff. That's a whole other subject for another day, but I just never got around to doing it because I ended up leaving for almost two years unwillingly. So the point is, I just wondered why is it that during that period, nobody did any videos on her? And I realized that it wasn't trendy to talk about her. It's the same thing with Stephanie Sue and how she was screwing over people. There's just years and years of evidence of her being a terrible person, but no one wanted to say anything because that would hurt their brand and you know, I'm going to get into all that more as we go on. But the point is, these people are watching all this content 
And there are people doing fucked up things on YouTube every day. You can make videos. Like there's endless amounts of content. But what I'm realizing is that a lot of these people can't do videos on other people doing bad things on YouTube because then they'll be a hypocrite because they're also a fucked up commentary channel. And or they just don't want to be the first to talk about something because they don't want their brand to be hurt. But then as soon as someone else talks about it, now they want to jump on the bandwagon and be like, oh yeah, you know, I care so much about this issue. Do you really though? So I'll get back into that more, like I said. I'm just going to start clicking on a few of these videos that popped up and we can just get into it. So I'm just going to watch this one first. Okay, so this is the first one. Ugh, I'm already annoyed. That filter, whatever. This has to be the pettiest YouTuber on the platform. You know what? This might be one of the stupidest dramas I've ever covered in the channel. And instead of being an adult and apologizing or doing anything that a smart person would do, she decided, oh, I'm going to be the victim. I'm going to turn this around until like, I'm being harassed. My main grievance was her insistence to create new rumors and slander about myself, one topic, and others after we left, and how she wouldn't leave us alone. All right, welcome back to another episode of Bad Haircuts. In this video, we're going to be talking about a channel called... I just... Okay, you guys don't know, but I have a video recorded that it's a really long video that I'm working on. I'm not going to say the topic because I try to keep those things a secret, but I was just complaining about like these intros from these drama channels they're like all right you guys i'm gonna talk in the most ridiculous way possible let's make a joke here here we go it's your boy we're gonna get into the drama now with a dramatic music yes i am a comedian not really it's like i don't know why they all have to do their intros like that i do let me not say that i know why but it's fucking pathetic it's just so annoying they can't take anything seriously this has to be the pettiest youtuber on the platform you know what this might be one of the stupidest dramas i've ever covered in the channel and i just want to insert this here because i forgot to mention this but when he says it's petty he calls it petty instead of what's actually happening which is someone who's breaking the law in many different ways over years this is someone who has been slandering and stealing content Content, and you sum it up by calling it petty, which is really disingenuous, but he's doing that because then that sounds more lighthearted and satirical. And he needs to sound more lighthearted and satirical because that's what his content is centered around. He has this nihilistic narrative like the rest of these commentary channels do where they can't take anything seriously. As soon as you see that filter, you already know it's going to be one of those fucking channels and everything's a joke. So you are trivializing very serious circumstances, very serious things that are affecting people's livelihood, all for the sake of your wallet. Because you don't want to be associated with negativity. You don't want to be associated with someone who actually cares about something because that'll make you vulnerable, which then people will try to exploit that vulnerability and talk about you, make fun of you, expose you or whatever, hold you to a certain standard because as soon as you care about something, you're held to a standard. So he's trying to avoid all that by saying it's petty, but now you've played yourself and you're now part of the problem by doing that. And it just already tells you that, again, these are people who just hop on trends because that's the stuff that's okay. They don't want to go against the grain. They're not going to talk about these issues when not many people are saying anything. They're going to wait until society pretty much has already deemed this stuff bad. And then all of a sudden, like, virtue signal, like, yeah, this is so wrong. It's like, you're not really doing anything. You're not really helping anyone. You're not changing anything. No one can count on you because you're never going to say anything when it matters. Or if you do, you're not going to say a whole lot, you know? And it's just frustrating because how are you going to virtue signal about someone behaving in a bad way and then pretend like you're going to stick up for somebody when you're not? Ah, whatever. Illuminati. Now, not like the organization Illuminati who manipulates, you know, lies and controls. Again, more jokes, Illuminati whatever. Is a female. One thing you need to know about Little them. summary. They love to do that. Let me put the little summaries in there to, you know, drive up the runtime. Everybody knows the summary already. You're, you made the video because everybody's making videos on it. <laughs> Going on between Illuminati and a YouTuber called Eagle Weagle. Legal Eagle. Eagle Weagle. <laughs> Eagle Weagle says through email just to ask a very polite question. Hey Blair, I work as an editor for Legal Eagle and I was wondering if there is some After Effects plugin you guys use for the things like the intro. We would recreate it, but we figured there was probably a faster method you guys were using. So I'm just going to skip past this because I, again, I'm not going to sit here and go through all this fucking information. For me to pause and play videos in their entirety, I'm going to be sitting here for literally an hour and a half because I, I got multiple videos I got to get through and she didn't really want to give them the information. So they figured out how to do it themselves. 
and she accused them of stealing and they're like we actually are using those effects before you were using them so if anything it's like she'd be stealing from them and it's just more of her being a piece of shit i'm gonna link the video in the description you can watch it yourself it's not important to what i'm trying to say please don't sue oh my god the joke no look at the joke Illuminati tweeted example A. It was her banner with the paper rip effect and his banner paper rip effect. <gasps> you didn't copy the paper rip effect. How could you? You should know she owns that effect. Uh oh, I'm in trouble now. <gasps> the paper rip effect. Please don't sue my channel. Example B was one of her videos where she it's was- It's like it's not even funny. It's just these people make all these crazy edits. Not really crazy, but just a lot of edits, little effects, and then they just say something and smile through it. It's just like, okay, great. What's the purpose of this video, you know? Ugh. It's just, this is basically a continuation of the video I made on iDubs where I said the whole commentary community is full of shit. So you can watch that if you want to know more of what I'm talking about for context. So if you don't know why I'm so frustrated, it's because you didn't see the original video. Highlight in text. And Legal Eagles video, highlight in text. Oh boy. Oh god, no, please, I'm gonna have the shits now. I can't believe you called Like, literally, just the few things I'm playing here, the majority of his commentary is jokes on a sentence. Like, he'll make a sentence where he's just saying what happened, and then he, like, drags out a joke. And this is why it's so exhausting for me to watch, like, drama content. People think that I'm just, like, watching videos every day. Like, someone told me that this was happening. That's the only reason why I, I even give a shit about it. It's the only reason why I even know about it. Because it's fucking exhausting listening to these people. They're all the same. Illuminati style of highlight in text. You should be cancelled. You already in said that. In text, um, everybody does that. Any documentary channel you watch does that effect. Wow, what a thought-provoking thing. Uh, everybody does highlights. It's like everybody already thought that already. What's the purpose of making this video? Thing then, but let's check it out. Legal Eagle responds, Hey Illuminati, I think it's a big misunderstanding. Perhaps great minds think alike. No one on my yeah, team Yeah, that's what to... I was saying before. They responded, they're like, hey, we were doing this before you. He's just going over, I mean, again, we're four minutes in and he's just reviewing shit that everybody's already reviewing. Like, if he actually had something to add, then it would be justified to show context of what happened. But if all you're going to do is just repeat what everyone said, then there's no point in repeating this. Everybody already knows about it. He played clips in the beginning where people were already talking about it. So it's like, what are you adding to this whole thing? I thought about this all day yesterday. Here you go, Illuminati. It's time for your tablespoon of medicine. Hypocrisy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just want to see if there's anything important head, to say. Make it a little different. Or exactly the same. I mean, talk. Now, I'm going to watch this again outside of recording. I do that. So if I miss anything, I'll put it in here. But like, he's not saying anything important. A $10,000 fine for his misuse of prescribing controlled drugs. Blair. Like, talk about, can I copy your homework? Shake my head, but just- So she was stealing content from somebody, and now he, he covers that for a second. Mostly just plays her talking, like showing proof of it, and he's just making jokes about it. It's like, okay, but, but why are you talking about it? What's the point? To the channel, everybody. We want to reach 100k this year. Come on, let's make it happen. Join the channel memberships. And oh, like, everything's a joke. I don't know. Eventually, I believe pretty much the whole group left her. Someone copying your editing style? Well, that's the paranoia right there. The last meeting I ever had with her, she spent half an hour, I think, hard to know, screaming at me for an array of random things. Calling me a bad friend, lazy, and a bunch of random accusations that didn't really have anything to do with me. Well, Illuminati, I've got some news for you. You're a bad friend for screaming. Second of all, you are lazy. I look how many editors you have on your channel. Pull your thumb out of your ass, all right? And edit your own videos, you know? Do some real work for once. I want you to keep in mind also that these are all, you know, Alec. Oh. I mean, again, that doesn't mean somebody's lazy. That's a whole other subject. I'm not trying to defend her or anything. Like, she's a terrible person, but you can put out more videos if you have editors. I don't get the point of that. Like, that's the only unique thing that he said. You get my point? Like, the only unique thing that he said. <laughs> and it, it was a terrible comment because it's a good thing to have multiple editors. <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh my god. Half-truths about us on the Sad Milk Reddit page and vague posts on Twitter. I still have the screenshots. When people started asking questions that maybe she was the reason everyone left, there was a very convenient uptigging of 11 to 14 year old videos of me. Stuff I made back when I first started my channel. And so she's up digging up content video. on, you know, him and trying to basically falsely expose him and all this stuff. And she like hired somebody to go and get comments of him saying like, uh, retarded or something. He cares. What jokes are said on the internet? Like, you like way in the past. Offended by jokes? You seriously need to have a look at yourself. Stop being a snowflake and cheer up, all right? It's the internet. It's not real life. He said, oh my God, okay, hang some on. bad jokes that were made at 11 to 4. Really okay, vulnerable. so here he goes with another unique opinion and listen to this. Like, this is, this is what I'm talking about when I say I'm frustrated listening to these fucking commentary channels because 
Okay, let me just show you what he says first, and then I'll say what I have to say. My best to try and be transparent and honest about my past. Wow, Illuminati. Look at you. Completely vulnerable. That you have to dig up videos from 11 to 14 years ago. I'm really disappointed. This just goes to show what kind of person she is. I mean, digging up some bad jokes that were made 11 to 14 years ago. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, you, you bastard, you aren't you? Who actually cares what jokes are said on the internet? If you get offended by jokes, you seriously need to have a look at yourself. Stop being a snowflake and cheer up, all right? It's the internet. It's not real life. He said someone was fat. I'm really offended. Who gives a shit? Like that little, like that type of stuff. It's just like, they, they, okay. So now that you've heard the comment, this is what I'm trying to say. When drama comes out, that is everyone's opportunity to virtue signal, okay? And if you didn't realize that before, you will now. And you'll see this more as you see more drama videos come out. And you'll see why I'm so fucking exhausted about this stuff. And why I often don't talk about issues that everyone's talking about. Because then you, you end up like this fucking idiot. But the point is, that's their opportunity to virtue signal and try to separate themselves from the bad person. And that's why I often like see people saying to me, oh, well, you know, how do you know the things that you know about people? And why do you feel the way that you feel? And like, how can you tell when somebody's doing something is wrong? Like, how do you know? It's everyone's perspective. Everything's subjective. They're always asking me questions like that. And it's like, people give you warning signs of who they are, especially in, when it comes to opportunities when they can virtue signal. And that's because whatever you are against gives people an idea of what you are for and vice versa. People often say that they don't have to pick a side, but to be neutral is to be tolerant. So you are either tolerant of certain people and their actions or you are against it. So I just did like a whole video about Frumpy Fit talking about Growth Joe. And the whole video was her virtue signaling that she was putting in more effort than Joe to inform people. And she actually ended up playing herself and exposing herself as being worse than Joe through the strenuous effort she was making to try to seem like she was better than Joe. She literally said she was in an ethical cage because she just holds herself too accountable. And all that stuff revealed her to actually be a piece of shit. So the point that I'm making is if you want to learn more about who people really are and how they really feel about things, wait until a controversy comes out and they speak on it and listen to what they virtue signal, how and why. Because oftentimes you're going to disagree with the majority of what the person is saying that you're responding to because, you know, if they do something really bad, that means their whole perspective is off. So that means that most of what they're saying is wrong or you can find an argument to say that it's wrong. So that's a very, very slippery slope where the more you try to prove how wrong they are, they might say something that's not that bad. And if you don't reel it in and tame yourself, you're gonna then criticize them for something that's not actually bad. For example, when he said the whole thing about having editors, that's not a bad Bad thing. That doesn't make you lazy if you have a bunch of editors. What if you're trying to do a bunch of other projects with your time? You know, so that's not a good critique, but he's just trying to pile on as much as he can. So he threw that in and that's not that bad. So he can get away with that and he's not gonna like be exposed for anything. But then here he is with this whole like fat joke thing. And he's saying, it's the internet, it's not real life. It is real life. The internet fucking exists in real life. Like, do you not know how computers work and electricity and science and satellites and all that shit? Like, are you out of your mind? And again, who do you think is making the comments online? The the insults and the, the jokes. First of all, he calls them jokes. If you're calling someone fat, it's not a joke. It's an insult. You're making fun of someone just because there's humor in it doesn't mean that it's just a joke. There's different kinds of jokes. So you're blurring the lines just to attack this subject. And so that means that you are not a very critical thinker. Like that's the warning signs that you're a very surface level person who isn't going to look in depth about the issue and you're not going to take it seriously. And when it suits you, you're going to argue one thing. And when it suits you to argue the opposite, you'll do that too. Because why else would you blur the lines on something as obvious as making fun of someone for their fucking weight? So again, let's look at what he said and I'll say a little bit more and then I'll move on. Said the internet. If you get offended by jokes, you seriously need to have a look at yourself. If you get offended by jokes, you seriously need to look at yourself. What constitute is a joke though? The reason why he's not gonna be exposed for saying any of this stuff, and I'm not saying he needs to be canceled for it or anything. I'm just saying no one's gonna think there's a problem with what he said because he threw it into a video where there is a mountain of virtue signaling, where he's separating himself from someone as awful as Illuminati. And so that's how we get people like Leafy is here who was just like bullying people 24 seven because he made so much content where he was attacking people who were being awful people. I think he did a video on Nicole Arbor. He did a video on Keemstar. He did videos on toxic channels. And then in between all that, he was being toxic himself. This is why it's so important to look at the nuance of issues. Okay, like people can say, oh, you're taking stuff too seriously, Karina. It's like, this is a guy where he very well could one day say something that's too fucked up. And when that day comes, everyone's gonna look all surprised. It's like, here's the warning 
warning sign here that he thinks this way. He he wasn't as good of a guy as you thought. Most people are not. He's not being self-critical here. So when they, they throw in these fucked up things, these toxic ideals into a mountain of virtue signaling against someone as awful as Illuminati, it's so hard to differentiate between the two and see them for the asshole that they are. He's an asshole, okay? Stop being a snowflake and cheer up, all right? It's the internet. You're a snowflake if somebody is making fun of you trying to hurt your feelings. Like, the fuck? It's not real life. He said someone was fat. I'm really offended. Who gives a shit? The person who was called fat. That's who gives a shit. So anyway, I'm just gonna move on because that's the dumbest fucking thing he said so far. Question is, why did she do this? Well, she was trying to spread some rumors that everybody left the group to assume I had been kicked out for poor behavior rather than leave because of her own behavior. For example, some people left comments on the collaboration channel saying, good, that click left. They obviously got ratioed hearts as people- So they were basically painted out to be people that they weren't. They were painted out to be the problem when she was the problem. So everyone stayed mostly silent and had to constantly look over their shoulders for the next year. Wow, threatening people with her connection? Everyone stayed yeah. clout. Reput constantly look over their shoulders for the next year. Wow, threatening people with her connections. Clout, reputation, and powerful friends. Sounds a lot like the real Illuminati. Oh, Blay, you have powerful friends, do you? I guess I should be really scared then. Cool, so everybody left Sad Milk because of Blair and her behaviour, but at the time she tried to manipulate everybody to make it think everybody left Click because of his old videos. But no, 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 it doesn't stop there. And again, all he's doing, the thing that makes people think that he's like this good guy or whatever, because this happens with all these exposure videos. They're like, oh yeah, you got your head on straight. All he's doing is repeating what happened. That's it. He's not saying anything thought-provoking. He's not saying anything important. He's not doing anything to push a narrative forward that's actually going to help anybody. He's just commenting on something that everyone else is commenting on for his own fucking clout. But people want to get on me saying that I was clout chasing for talking about shit that nobody was talking about. Like it just, it fucking bothers me the standard that people hold small YouTubers to who are actually talking about issues that they give a shit about while all these fucking assholes just talk out their ass and repeat something that everyone else is saying and nobody calls them a fucking clout chaser when they're all fucking clout chasing. Like it literally blows my mind. And that's why it pisses me off because all the shit that I went through two years ago before I left. Like this is clout chasing. Are you fucking stupid? Let me demonstrate how petty and how much of a snowflake this Illuminati person is. She did a show with Tommy C and a few other you- Something you could say that's thought provoking, like a tiny thing, it's not even a big thing. Okay, let me play the clip and then I'll say it. YouTubers where they would frequently make videos together. And you know, they were all in this together, so everybody had access to the channel, everybody had access to the data, anybody can go in, make videos public, reply to comments, etc, etc. You know, it was open to them, it's basically all of their channel pretty much. Now here's the best bit. There was a fat joke made on that channel. Now, Blair didn't like that, so she went into Tommy C's channel and she removed all the videos containing her. She didn't even ask the blog for permission. She just went into the channel and removed all of them. So, my point is, he's not saying anything that's important. He's just wasting everyone's time. And it's like, something thought-provoking you could say here, like a small thing, it's not even that big of a deal. But just ask yourself, well, why does she do that? Maybe try to understand that pattern of behavior so that you can teach people how to avoid people like that in the future, or so that you can see through other content creators, see the path that they're on that's gonna lead to them doing this as well. That way we can try to prevent these things from happening in the future. But I don't think these people really wanna prevent this stuff from happening because this is their bread and butter. They make their fucking money off of talking shit about people who go down these awful roads. So if we were ever to find a way to get rid of it or stop it before it gets bad, they won't have any fucking money. But one warning sign is that when you see people who have little exposure videos where they're doing little things here and there that's like kind of fucked up and you don't think it's that big of a deal, if no one's talking about it, that means it's very likely that this person is one in their head gonna feel like they're untouchable. So they're gonna feel like they can get away with more and more. But two, they're going to start having this paranoia towards anything that could possibly criticize them because they know all it takes is one video to uncover everything that's already been put out about them. So she's basically, the reason why she got so frantic and crazy is not because she's just stupid or silly. It's, it's because she knew that she was doing a bunch of fucked up things and she was conning everybody into believing that she wasn't this fucked up plagiarist, scam artist, slanderer and all that stuff. And so she's like, okay, I gotta make sure no one finds out. Stephanie Sue, again, is someone who did that. She did the same thing. Another big example is fucking Turkey Tom. You know, that's like another thing. Turkey Tom has been stealing content his whole fucking career, just like Illuminati. And there's been like a few videos about him and that's it. Nobody really gives a shit. Nobody makes a big deal out of it. And then they convince themselves that he stopped. Not that they just couldn't catch him anymore, that he just stopped stealing. So nothing held him accountable for stealing. He's just not gonna steal anymore, really.
And so then he keeps fucking stealing. More videos come out and they're like, okay, well, I guess that was the last time he stole. Then he started to steal from me and those other two channels I was telling you about at the time. And people still who watch those videos were saying, oh, well, I don't think that he's uh, doing it anymore now. It seems like he's, he's calmed down, he's changed. How about maybe it's the fact that he's just getting better at stealing? You ever think about that? Maybe because he hasn't really been punished for what he's done. He still has this channel after breaking the law and plagiarizing content his whole fucking career. Maybe he's just learning how to hide it better, which I fucking proved he is. And nobody's going to take that seriously because to take it seriously when no one else is, is going to drag down your content. You're going to be accused of starting problems when there aren't any. I had to answer the phone. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, long story short, I'm just saying that it's... <sighs> It's frustrating that with people like Turkey Tom, he's still fucking stealing. He never stopped. He is going to keep stealing because no one's going to fucking do anything about it unless it's trendy, unless it helps them. So basically what these people are saying without saying it, just their career, their whole purpose on YouTube is promoting the idea that we cannot stop people from fucking people over and doing things to them unless it's trendy. I'm not going to stick my neck out there and defend anyone unless I get something out of it, but she's bad. She's a bad person and it's just, it's fucked up. So I know that some people are going to think I'm exaggerating or I'm just like making a problem out of nothing or whatever. Like people always want to like, people want to read into things that aren't the truth with me while accusing me of reading into things that aren't the case. But this is serious. This is part of the reason why YouTube is such a toxic place. And I don't think people realize that. I think people just think these bad things happen because people are just bad. People will only do what you allow them to get away with. And so if you're not going to speak up when bad things are happening, you know, when it first starts happening, then that means that as it gets worse, it's on you. Cause you could have said something, you could have done something and you didn't. Ugh, like it's so fucking frustrating. Let me get through the rest of this shit. And you know the best part? The fat joke wasn't even about to. And it really bothers me that I'm never getting hard and says, you know, Illuminati's thing to do with this. <gasps> uh, by the way, Tommy C, he's somebody who's a friend of Turkey Tom. So he's also part of the problem with that stuff. Turkey Tom has been known for being a thief. It's not like he doesn't know. Turkey Tom falsely accused Power Cynical of being a file and Tommy C interviewed the guy who was accusing Pyrocynical of that but there's no connection there between their friendship right yeah he didn't outright say he was a file but he basically called him a file and he's friends with him it's just the, again the whole it's just like that idubs video I made the whole commentary community is just this vicious cycle this just well of hypocrisy and bullshit and it's honestly exhausting to watch like I don't enjoy it how could you call someone ugly I can't oh my god more it. stupid what? jokes more stupid, more stupid jokes with stupid fucking edits. Okay, had to get through the fucking ad. Let's go back to this. It's like four minutes left. I'm gonna try to hurry this up because I know this video is getting long. Very kind, happy, and very loving. She doesn't want people to be upset. Then why did she make jokes about people? Oh my God, talk? like this is like the fucking third, fourth time he's made a joke like this. Similar edits to just black and white flames on the screen, the piano music. It's like Jesus fucking Christ of his anxiety there's a lot of effort into his videos well illuminati for some reason decided to jump on and take the piss of his anxiety so well done illuminati once again why don't you just take a big spoonful of fuck you <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> spoonful <of> fuck you <laughs> like come on so feel like i'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to deliver for example i have had a literal breakdown last night when i ran into <laughs> tech issues while trying to stream as fun as making videos is all this pressure to do my so she was mocking anxiety not taking this stuff seriously and honestly again this is another gray area because this is someone who could easily be exaggerating their mental health for sympathy they could i mean they're literally posting how bad their anxiety was online so without you showing the full context, it's like, what if this person is also toxic too? It's, it's just, this is what happens when you talk about issues really quickly. Like as soon as they come out, you just hop on it and say the first thing that comes to mind. You don't have any time to think about it. And you got to be one-sided about it because everybody's on one side. Everybody's against Illuminati. So I'm going to paint everyone else against her in a positive light or anyone who she's against in a positive light and paint her in a negative light. And it's like, that's not good because those people could also be toxic too but you don't have any fucking time to think about that because you're just trying to put out a quick little 10 minute video where you're talking shit about something you don't know anything about it, like that's what frustrates me most of all it's like there are channels i'm gonna showcase one soon like i have a video coming out uh that i haven't recorded yet but i'm about to where i'm gonna show you a channel that posts short videos 
constantly. But she knows what she's fucking talking about because she's obsessed with this area of health. And so even though she'll be reacting live to something, what she's saying is very logical. She actually looks shit up, which I don't see people do often on YouTube. She looks shit up and she makes sure that what she's saying makes sense. And then she will actually correct herself if she's wrong. So it's okay for her to make a little three minute video here, a 10 minute vid video there and comment on something because she generally already knows about that subject. But this is something where it's so deep. Illuminati has been doing so many awful things over years. You can't just watch a few videos and then comment on it. But they want to do that because they know that that's how they're only going to be able to get their success. But when your success is built off of commenting on trendy issues, you're a slave to the algorithm at that point. At that point, you have no choice but to just constantly do that. Because if you ever stop, your shit's gonna start to die. So is it really worth it if that's the case? Why not find a better way to be successful? And, and it's because YouTube rewards people following the same model. If you make content like everyone else, there's a good chance you will be successful. If you say things like everyone else does, there's a good chance you're gonna be successful. It's risky to do content that's different from someone else. But it's like, at that point, I don't fucking want to have any success if that's what I have to do to do that. Which is why I just make videos that I care about. That's my virtue signal in this whole uh, fucking drama controversy, by the way. When I was saying it's everyone's chance to virtue signal, everybody virtue signals about stuff. You saying you care about anything can be seen as a virtue signal. But it's like, I actually prove what the fuck I have to say. Yeah, I care about these subjects. That's why I talk about them. And then I fucking get criticized for it. I get fucking told I'm a clout chaser when I'm making content that actually fucking matters to me and affects me. Something that's personal to me. I'm talking about it and I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. I actually provide information unlike most people do and I get fucking attacked for it while these assholes have nothing to say. They have nothing to fucking at. They're not helping anybody but themselves in their fucking f wallet. And nobody has anything to say about it. It's fucking frustrating, yeah. It'd be one thing if I was just making content and I didn't get a lot of views and that's okay. I'm fine with that. But I have gotten attacked for actually giving a shit. Which is what I was just talking about in the last video I made where I said, when you try your best, people fucking criticize you. They hold you to a high standard. When you don't give a fuck like this fucking dumbass here, nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit. They don't expect anything from you and you just blend in with everybody else and then they all get shocked when you turn out and do something fucked up or say something fucked up too. Staying up all night editing. And this is not to single him out. I've already made it clear. I'm saying the commentary community is fucking shit. It's fucking shit and poison, okay? videos and further resolving the previously mentioned tech issues. I worked overtime at my daily job today and work got so busy that I didn't get a chance to take lunch. During the drive home, I began to hyperventilate to the point that I had to pull over and get out of my It's like stuff like that is kind of exaggerative. You know how many people go to work and they're not able to eat lunch? You're a little bit privileged, honestly, if you just had one day where you didn't have a chance to eat lunch. Like, the average American cannot afford a $400 emergency bill. Many, many Americans are working jobs where they don't have any time to eat lunch on a daily basis. So yes, this this person's clearly looking for sympathy. There's some legitimacy in teasing someone for that. That's not the same as being upset that someone called someone fat depending on the circumstance because that's what he's saying here. If you call somebody fat who's just existing and they're not bothering anybody, they're not doing anything wrong, they didn't say anything, they just get called fat, that's a fucked up thing whereas because he said it's just jokes. He said period. Regardless of context, you should not be offended if somebody calls you fat. But there are contexts where that's not okay because you could be a kid, you could fucking be mentally ill, you could have an illness where you can't help the fact that you're fat, or it could just be really hard for many other fucking reasons that I'm not going to get to today. There are so many legitimate reasons for why people are overweight in America. But the point is, you can be talked about for that and that is unfair. But if you are getting online saying, oh my god, my life is so hard when it's not, then yes, it's open for people to criticize that. Those are not the same thing. So you saying, oh, she made fun of someone for having anxiety is not an adequate critique against the whole fat people thing. You're just, it's terrible fucking criticism. It's fucking awful. But it doesn't matter because whoever's watching his video has probably watched 10 others on the same subject and it all just blends in and becomes the same fucking thing. Nobody's gonna care about what he's saying here. I know nobody cares, but I fucking care and it bothers me. It fucking bothers me, okay? Car to breath. After a few minutes, I thought it was okay, so I got just to love making videos. Someone makes a fat joke. Blair goes in and deletes all the videos containing her. And See, then... I told you, he was. this was his whole point. This was. This is why he brought it up. It's the best bit, everyone. Someone makes a fat joke. Blair goes in and deletes all the videos containing her. And then she makes fun of someone with mental health. So, which one is it, Blair? But it's okay because... It, 
It really depends on the fucking circumstance. I'm saying that you haven't provided any information that would make it legitimate to say that someone can't trivialize his mental health circumstances. Like, if anyone misses it after me explaining it this way, then you're a lost cause, okay? Black. But it's okay because Tip still laughed about it. He found it funny. He so. laughed about it. He found it funny. So again, was his situation really that fucking serious if he thought that it was funny? Like, you're not helping your case here. Uh, holy shit. That's pretty good. You can see that not everyone is a lost cause on the internet. If you want to see an extra That doesn't make you a lost cause. It could very well mean that, his, that he was playing up his issue. And that's why he didn't take it that seriously. That he was mocked for it. But that, and that's the other thing, you're basically saying that if people take these issues seriously, they're a lost cause. If people take issues seriously, they're a problem. Why are you commenting on drama then? Why are you commenting on people doing anything bad? It, none of it makes sense. Like, but I'm the crazy one, right? I'm, I'm the problem. Why are you commenting on people doing anything bad if you constantly want to promote this nihilistic message that we shouldn't ever take anything seriously? Like, I hope you never become a parent because you're going to ruin your kids' lives. Please don't ever have kids. You are, you should never be responsible for anyone else ever because you, you can't even be responsible for yourself. So pettiness. You're in the right place because more pettiness. And you're not being petty, right? Like, saying that we shouldn't take anything seriously doesn't make you petty, the fuck? It's happened. After all this shit was going down and people were making videos about it and everything, um, you know, <laughs> can't even talk about this without smiling. The Great Queen Blair. Yeah, because you can't take anything seriously. Which is probably why he has such an issue with people taking stuff seriously, because he can't take anything seriously. He just, whatever trauma he went through, something had to cause him to fucking be this way, where he just has to laugh about everything. It's just like, it's not my fault that you have this problem. I was not happy with the videos people were making on her, so because there was some artwork used in the thumbnail, um, she used that as a way to try and take down the videos. Sounds a bit like Lily Jean there. <laughs> a viewer of Illuminati made some fan art for her. What is up with that laugh? He says the dumbest shit and then he goes... <laughs> Like, there's nothing funny about it. I just want to let you know, did you give this person oh, these permission edits. to use your art in their thumbnail? Because they've got it there. Uh, if you didn't give him permission, you should file a copyright strike. <laughs> hey, he's just repeat. Like, again, he says what happened. He repeats it while making, like, silly wide eye faces. Shakes the screen a bit and moves on. Just wasting everyone's time. There were people in with. Send me a link to them or their channel name so I can take care of it. Again, thank you for so much for bringing this to my attention. I apologize for it causing an issue for you as well. <laughs> Sorry, I just, that's just how I assume. Illuminati's very well sound. And if you are a viewer of Illuminati, why do you sound like that? <laughs> you don't like- Again, it's not even that funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, I just, I, and again, anybody who resonates with this person who thinks that I take shit too seriously or they think that like, what I'm saying is ridiculous. I don't even, I don't, I'm not surprised that you feel that way. Like a video that someone made on you calling you out for your bullshit. So you decided to use your fun as a way to try and take down their video. Hey, the, hey, there was someone just used your art. Let me know. All right, so that was a waste of time. The video's over. The point that I'm making is the problem with basing your whole channel around cloud chasing is that, yeah, you greatly increase your chances of being successful, but at what cost? You then become an idiot because you never have time to think critically on things and improve. You never have time to actually help people. So you're not doing anything to help anyone but yourself. That puts you on a slippery slope where you just become more and more selfish and you compromise your morals more and more. And because you have to have this nihilistic message, that's what everyone's doing. So if you're going to do what everyone else is doing to be successful, you're going to be more nihilistic. That means that, again, you're not going to grow as a person and you're not going to improve your content. So you're going to be wasting everyone's time and promoting bad messages because if you don't have time to think on your message, most likely it's going to be bad. So you're going to be promoting bad messages and that's going to be your legacy. Your legacy is going to be you being a fucking idiot for however many years you're a YouTuber. And then that's why they always look back. All these fucking commentary channels are like, yeah, I was so stupid. Like, yeah, you're fucking stupid. So anyway, that's all I had to say for this. I'm I'm done. Um, You guys tell me what you think. I just wanted to run through this because it was, it was pissing me off. It was just, yeah. There's so many other videos. I might watch like a couple more because there, there were so many of these videos, okay? Like like I said, it's not just him, but they're all the same. So maybe I'll show you guys like one more just for context or two more. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Are you exhausted with these kind of commentary channels? Why? I'm still thinking on the subject. I still don't know how to fully explain how I feel. It'll probably be months before I actually come to a, a full conclusion on this whole thing, but I've been talking about this over years. So I just wanted to show you the next, next step that I'm in. Um, on covering this uh, hypocrisy and this like endless cycle of the commentary community, okay? So again, tell me how you feel about all these drama videos and what similarities do you see between them and how do you think it's negatively affecting the state of YouTube and just ourselves and how we face issues? Because I think it all connects and I think that it's all making things worse. So 
Again, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.